Hey guys, it's Ahmed. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple, very in-depth, uh, contradictory statement of Apex Legends. So this is the home screen. Once you are in Apex, you've downloaded it through Origin. You're going to be right here, all right? It's going to require you to play training mode. But before I do that, I want to show you guys what these top things are, all right? So right now we're in the play section. The play section itself uh, allows you to play and how to play is you click this little tab and you click play apex you click ready and it will find you a game but I'm not gonna do that right now click training for right now that's what I'm gonna do it'll force you to go into training legends if you click legends it will show you um, each legend so normally octane mirage and caustic cost yeah is going to be locked uh, to purchase them it's gonna be a thousand coins uh, or like crafting or something like that uh, So but you don't actually need to buy these guys. I just did because I can and Yeah, so the first character is called bloodhound bloodhound is uh, kind of like a tracker type guy to view to view the skills you will right click Right there, and it says it right here the passive Tracker, foes leave behind clues for you to find, so you will be able to see footsteps on the ground and different indications of people jumping, etc., where they land. Um, his Q ability is Eye of the Allfather. In essence, it will show you around uh, your surrounding, like a like an orb type thing, uh, of where enemies might be, traps, anything like that. Uh, his ultimate is kind of like steroids. Um, Beast of the Hunt. You enhance all your senses, whatever that means, allowing you to see tracks. You could see footsteps of where people were, etc., etc., and move faster. You get to move faster, which is very important in this game. Giblerator Gibbler is a shielder guy. He's a fat guy. You know, probably runs a little slower, kind of like Dave. But passive is gun shield. Uh, when you aim down your sights, you will actually have. A shield that blocks incoming fire his Q is dome of protection it does a little little dome right around you um, that blocks attack for 15 seconds um, I think you can't shoot out but I'm not too certain uh, but that's very helpful if you're trying to revive someone or something like that his uh, ultimate ability his Z is defensive bombardment you can call in a mortar strike on a position you mark with smoke it's it's you yeah self-explanatory lifeline is uh, this girl she has like from Zimbabwe uh, or something her passive is combat medic she revives knocked down enemies faster while protected by a shield kind of like uh, that uh, gibble raiders like uh, Q uh, healing items are used 25% faster too which is pretty pretty nice her Q is very good she can send out this little drone and it hovers right around you and it heals any one of your team members, including yourself, slowly but pretty fast, honestly, which is really good because in this game, uh, all the characters except one, which is Octane, don't heal automatically. So you have to find items like a syringe or health pack and heal yourself and it requires like three or eight seconds depending on the thing. Uh, her ultimate is a care package which drops uh, after a while drops a, a, a care package with some loot uh, maybe some good loot maybe some normal loot but you got to be careful with her ultimate though because that does attract attention you know people see it coming they, they know your location all right pathfinder uh, this guy's a robot um, his passive is uh, inside knowledge, so he can actually know where the circle is going to be, the surviving circle. Uh, this is kind of like PUBG and uh, shit game Fortnite where like the circle goes closer and closer. This guy actually knows where it's specifically going to be uh, beforehand, so that's very important when you're dropping in from the airplane. You know. His Q is a grappling hook. It's mid-range, so... If you just wanna, if you don't like jumping on top of stuff, if you don't want to jump up there, you just, just Spider-Man that shit with your Q and you go up there. You can't, your teammates can't use it. But his uh, ultimate is the same thing. It's a longer distance, and it's a zipline for anyone to use, including enemies. Okay, which is really nice. 
Yeah. Octane, one of the guys you don't have uh, locked automatically. His passive is Swift Med. Um, when he's not getting hurt, I'd say about like five, six seconds, he starts to regain health over time. It's very slow, but it will, you know, rack it up, uh, you know, as you play a long game, you know. It's better than using um, things you find like the health packs because those takes time. You can't shoot and stuff. You just regain health. His Q lowers his health by about 30 health or 20 or something. And he gets to move 30% faster for 6 seconds. Now this, I think, has like an 8 second cooldown. So you can just spam it, but you don't want to spam it because you're going to be losing health. Even though you will be regening, it's not as fast as you'd think it would be. And his ultimate is somewhat similar to the grappling hook from the robot guy, but it's just a launch pad you can throw on the ground. And anyone can just like walk on it and it will catapult you. Uh, a sizable distance, which is pretty nice to get out of things, you know. Uh, so yeah, Wraith is uh, this a bad chick right here. Her passive is Voice from the Void. You hear voice when danger approaches. As far as you can tell, it's on your side. I honestly don't hear that many voices. <laughs> uh, who said that? Either way, her Q is into the void. She does some type of like turn into some electricity type thing and she can run really fast uh and she can avoid all damage she can't shoot but people can't see her do it so uh it's still good for getting out of gunfights you just quick quickly click you for getting shot at and you can just hopefully get out of there her z is a portal a two-dimensional portal where so she can click z it'll place it right there she can run to a different location uh maybe somewhere that's hard for people to get or if your team members are back there and then you can click q again or the time runs out and does it for you and then they can walk through it and then go and teleport to the other area and you can go back and forth back and forth enemies can go through this as well Baglahor bang Bang a lore. Bang a whore is uh, one of the bing 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 type guys, you know, like she tries to. So her passive is double time. Taking fireball sprinting makes you faster for a brief time. Very nice, but at the same time, you gotta be getting shot at to have that passive. Um, her Q is a smoke launcher. Her low cooldown is pretty nice. You can just boom. Shoot some smoke, uh, air, air, like in an area blocks. It really does uh, block, um, fucking people from seeing it. You know that's good. So you can escape, or your crew can escape. And her ultimate is Rolling Thunder. It's an artillery strike that slowly creeps across a landscape. I've actually gotten hurt by these. I've gotten killed by these. If you can place them in the right position, if you know what you're doing. If you don't, you're honestly not gonna hit anyone. But it's pretty useful. And then we have Caustic. This guy is a, uh, he just likes fucking gas. So his passive is Nox Vision. You can gain threat vision on enemies moving through your gas, which is shitty passive, honestly, because they have to be inside the gas anyways. Your Q, uh, you have six canisters. They slowly regen, obviously. And you can place them, and if an enemy walks by the canister, right, canister it like does that and then you start <laughs> right um you it's it doesn't kill you but i mean it's still really fucking annoying and then z is nox gas grenade and that's just a bunch of gas in a large area uh really good for close quarters but honestly not the best character in my opinion mirage this guy i have mixed feelings about because i just like him he's small he's quick even though he's not that much faster um, his passive is when he is <laughs> down because once you quote quote die, uh, you're like crouched on the ground like fetal position. You can like crawl around and shit. You can use a, a shield if you can. Uh, but his passive passive is he goes like invisible five seconds while he's in that position and there's a decoy of him that's standing up there and then the person just like oh b -b -b kills decoy decoy is like Bleh, and then you show up and you're just crawling around like oh fuck.
His Q's psych out. You send out a holographic decoy to confuse enemies, but honestly, it's really hard to trick enemies with this shit. It's more of like, um, I use it as a sh bait. So I will send my Q out and he will run to the position until he hits a wall. And you can make him run really fast, like really far, I mean. And if there's an enemy, they might think it's an actual person at first. And they're like, bing, 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 and that will let you know that there's someone around. And his ultimate is Vanishing Act. <laughs> he will, after like channeling for a quick second or two, he will <laughs> send out like fucking eight decoys around him. You know, you can't fucking, and well, he's cloaked while doing it. I don't think he can shoot while he's in this, but you can't see him anyways. I haven't really survived anything because of this, but uh, it's just funny to do, honestly. So there are all the characters. Um, the armory is going to be showing you each gun. There's an assault rifle, a flat line, okay. Uh, this gun is all right, in my opinion, not the best. Hemlock, very nice. I like it a lot. Uh, not too much recoil. This one is also good. And this one I fucking hate. Don't, if you can, don't get the, don't get the havoc. It's, it, it takes like a second to channel before you can start shooting, and it's kind of slow. Um, so there's that. Submachine gun. There's the altillerator. You honestly, you wanna not go for this one. Prowler. It's good close range for spraying prey, but honestly. Long range, you're not going to be able to because the recoil is ridiculous on this. You just do two shots and you're up 90 degrees in the fucking air. R99, similar to the Prowler's recoil, but not that bad. I like this gun. You know, I'll carry if I have to. Have to. Eat. Lap machine gun, Devotion. This one's actually pretty good, honestly. I don't. You'd expect them to have some recoil on it, but it's not that bad, honestly. It really isn't. Spitfire as well. That this one doesn't have that much recoil. The larger guns don't have that much recoil. It's kind of weird. Um, all right. Sniper rifles. Okay. Longbow. I think this one has five bullets. It's good sniper rifle, obviously. Um, you want to get a scope you don't want this just stock because just stock it's, it, it doesn't allow it to use its potential it, really for all these g7 scout that's another good one honestly uh this one it has 10 bullets i would recommend this one over the other ones honestly the kraber i've actually never even found it comes with a scope already uh it looks like a fucking badass but you know triple take Triple take, this one's another good one. It's one of, uh, I'd say, I'd say I would take the longbow over the triple take and the G7 over both those. But it's not bad either for a sniper. You really want the scope. The scope is all that matters. Those are the guns. Battle pass is something you can purchase, I think, for 20 bucks or 10 bucks. And for this season, you will uh, get special rewards for when you level up. Uh, it has a different type of leveling up system. So it says right now I need like 6,000 more to level up to level 4. But I'm level like 15, 16 in the real leveling. So and then at level 4, I'll unlock this skin and I'll get uh, this like banner. And that's a, a season 1 wins for a specific character, right? So for level one, I unlock that one, this guy, this one. Level two, I unlock this skin. Got a free Apex pack, pack, pack. which, uh, by the way, is like, um, if you've ever played Fortnite, you know those like packages when you level up, you're like, oh, you get three different things. It's more like Overwatch, honestly. When you level up, you get one, et cetera, et cetera. And then the stores where you can buy, um, different skins uh apex packs like i said the different legends i already own all of them and some coins here's the pricing for them okay so this video is going to be ending now i'm going to go be showing you the end game how it works the mechanics etc etc in the next video thank you guys for watching uh, hopefully you learned some of the basics and amatot26 is not my username but that i am out